All right, everyone, welcome back to part two of a two-part episode. Enjoy. Welcome to the Idaho Business Podcast, the only Idaho podcast focused on providing profits for Idaho people. If you love our state and love small business, you are in the right place. We interview local legends, learn business, and have way too much fun doing it. You're listening to the Idaho Business Podcast with your friend, host, and all-around great guy and owner of New Clean Commercial Cleaning, Spencer Ward. The Idaho Business Podcast is sponsored by Dell's Outdoor Advertising. These guys are an institution when it comes to billboard advertising traditionally or digital uh, billboard trend, uh, advertising. They are represented from Pocatello all the way to Blackfoot, and they will tell you uh, this is a great way, and I will tell you this is a great way to have top of mind awareness for your clients, your p- potential clients. Uh, there are some great things that still can be accomplished with billboards, uh, even even though we're in the Facebook and social media marketing you know realms of the world right now. So if you you contact uh, Rob and you and you set up a three month uh, deal to be on the billboard, he'll give you your installation for free or your um, or your first month for free, excuse me. And again, you can go to idahobusinesspodcast.com, click on their logo, their name, and find their information to get that deal rolling for yourself. And they are fantastic at it. So go see them today. The Idaho Business Podcast is sponsored by New Clean Commercial Cleaning. This is my company, guys. I'm telling you, I'm not just because I'm the owner, uh, the, the creator of it, but uh, we are a great company for servicing uh, your janitorial needs, your carpet cleaning needs, your stripping wax needs, all your floor maintenance needs. We are there for you. Uh, we're all, every, and everything is backed up by the we're not perfect guarantee. And if it's pretty much if we, if you call and we don't get a hold of you, and they, you don't get a hold of us, uh, we will call you back within an hour and fix the problem within 24 hours or the cleanings on us. So that is our promise to you. Uh, and if you call or go into the Idaho Business Podcast uh, website, click on the new clean logo and book a uh, janitorial solution huddle with us and mention that you heard about us on the podcast, you'll, ent- you'll get two free office, I mean, the two free restroom floor cleanings for your office for free. Tile and grout in your restrooms will be sparkling clean. And that's that's the offer. Tell you, take us up on it. You won't regret it. There's no strings attached. So go see them today. I, I, you know, I fear that you know, just the housing prices are going to come out strip those yeah. starter uh, you know, positions, you know. Um, the uh, you know, for an apprentice, you know, you know, your typical guy that comes to, to work for us is got a family and so they're looking at living in a house hopefully and, um, but even an apartment you know down the street just down the street here starts at eighteen hundred dollars a month you know so it's you know, insane that, you know, that used to be my whole monthly budget you know and yeah that that is just um you know crazy that's to live in an apartment so you know houses aren't too <laughs> too far off of that and uh and that's if you can get them you know if you can find a place and so um you, you got to keep that in mind your people um they've got to be able to have a quality of life that will make mm-hmm. them want to stay here and i mean yeah it's great you know we got the woods and uh, you know, all the all the nice natural beauty here but if you got to work seven days a week you're not you're never going to see it yeah so, who cares might as well be in seattle you know or yeah like that you know but you know I, it's just that uh, the reality is is that our cost of living is really not that much different from seattle or spokane or any of these other big cities that we used to look at and say, oh, that's the big city yeah that's unfortunate that's it's, it's, it's happening in idaho a little bit yeah not a little bit but a lot a lot and it's kind of sticker shock you know for everybody so yeah but yeah. you know to flip this uh, a little bit, you know, there's still opportunities out there to make money. There's still opportunities to to serve your clients well, and uh, you know, inflation can go up, but you know, there's still ways to to run your business su- successfully. 
So yeah. that's that's the that's the good takeaway from all this. So yeah, the 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 days of being the chief guy just really you know, in this day and age, you, the you know, people will pay for quality, and so yep. if you're on a quality product, and uh, you know your customer service is on point. You know people will pay for it, and uh, but and what that takes though is awesome people and you, should, you know everybody out there should be trying to get the very best people out there uh you know in their business and, and um because they'll you know good people always pay for themselves and uh you know and our customers ex uh, expect you know the very best when they come in here so you, you oh, gotta yeah, just you know that's the thing too is that uh, Things are shifting, you know, where you got to look at it, you know, the marketplace really, you know, you like to, you like to think, oh, I run my business the way I run my business, but really the, the market is dictating how we do that. And, you know, and I don't care if you're a doctor, lawyer, mechanic, um, accountant, what have you, you know, the marketplace is setting the demands on how you go to market. And so, uh, I mean, there's sure there's a lot of, uh, you know, unrealistic expectations out there, but, um, but, you know, by and large, our, you know, customers are expecting a high level of service and, uh, and, and quality in what you're doing. So, yep. I totally agree with that. <clears throat> totally agree. Well, let's enter the last little lightning round before we uh, wrap this one up. But no. Uh, and the lightning round is sponsored actually by my company this time, uh, New Clean Commercial Cleaning. We currently we're only operating up until uh, Burley. We'll be in Twin Falls here soon, all the way to Rexburg. Uh, but if you if you call us or, or go to the uh, newclean.com and book a janitorial solution huddle, uh, just by signing up and saying that you heard about us on the podcast, we will we will come to you with our truck mount system and clean two of your restrooms in your office absolutely for free. The tile and grout in your in your two restrooms. Uh, that's the offer. If you use our services or not, that's the offer just for listening to the show and uh, and giving giving us a chance. So there we go, uh, Brett. Yes. Since in the last year we've we've spoken, uh, is has there been maybe a book or a tool or a software that you've come across that's just really been you know going gangbusters for you and helped you run better? Wow. Uh, yeah, I think probably. The most influential book I read last year was uh, a book called Traction about the EOS, uh, which is the uh, Entrepreneur's Operating System. Um, we've started implementing that. Uh, it's basically an operating system for small companies that are in that, uh, you know, five million and less category. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so a lot of, a lot of small businesses, we have, you know, tribal knowledge on how we do that, but really EOS gives you a way to codify that, those processes and get it so that, um, you know, really with the goal of, um, you know, getting to a self-managing company, um, you know, it's, it's great that, um, you know, as a leader, you can be involved in things, you know, from, from the get go, but, with what a real mark of a leader is, is if you can duplicate yourself numerous times to where your company can run just just as well without you, and uh, uh, that exactly. that you room to expand in what you're doing and your capabilities, and to just keep getting even better. So that was yep. a big, and uh, probably my favorite podcast this last year has been uh, all the stuff from Strategic Coach. Um, that's been a that's been a really there's some great tools there and they're simple uh, and yet they're really hard to implement. And uh, yeah. Yeah, I've been working on the entrepreneur's uh, time system. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm a terrible time manager. I just get, you know, I get bogged down with things and then I don't, you know, everything falls yep. into the cracks. So um, yeah, that's kind of two of the biggest, biggest things. Plus I, uh, I did join a, uh, uh, and a CEO roundtable this last year called Convene, which is a uh, uh, Christian CEO uh, roundtable. Um, and awesome. I'm happy to say I'm the dumbest guy at the table. And, and uh, <laughs> um, yeah, 
that's what I'm all about these days. Is, you know, seeking rooms where I'm a dummy. <laughs> and, uh, uh, <laughs> I doubt that. I doubt that. Yeah, there's there's some sharp be sharp business people out here. Let me tell you. Uh, oh, for sure. Awesome. Yep, that's that's one of the best part about this podcast. I love is the 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 act the opportunity I get to talk to smart people like yourself uh, all all day long. So that's that's the fun thing for me because I get to learn. I get I get to soak in all this knowledge too. So, and hopefully there's yeah. little bits of, of of knowledge that I can put out as well. But it's most has come from you guys. So, yeah, no, I just love what you're doing, man. This is uh, I tell you the um, you know, I have an insurance agent that. Uh, uh, has a podcast called None of My Business, and, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it, that's just a great way to meet people and, yep. and, and for him just to learn about what's going on, you know, so, you know, yep. in the insurance business, you got to know what trends are, and, you know, any business guy's got to know those things, so, you know, sure. more associated with people that are not in our industry, then, you know, how much better is that? It's, it's crazy. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Well, uh, man, Brett, I, I appreciate the time that we've had to, to talk again. And uh, again, we'll, uh, we'll definitely have to have you on again, because especially when we get finally get through this pandemic, you know, hopefully you and I can do some cartwheels together. So I'll tell you what, I, uh, but, you know, I wonder if we, you know, it's just going to be like the flu, I think, um, you know, we're, <laughs> I know. We're, uh, we're dealing with it right now. I got one guy out with COVID. I got plus every other bug that's going you can't just get a cold anymore <laughs> no i know yeah yeah <laughs> i know I mean, yeah rough winter for for sicknesses so you know we're bracing for that but uh yeah i'm hoping you know 22 is going to be a breakthrough year and um uh, you know we're all going to get out on this i really uh i know it, you know we were all you know at each other's throats politically but you know you got to hand it to the state state legislature that is you know, opting not to lock us down, and they're taking yep. more a Florida approach on that. I mean, um, it doesn't do any good to shut down businesses and kill. No, it doesn't. I mean, it, uh, you know, I, I noticed the other day, Fantastic Sam's, you know, a uh, place where my daughter got her start when she was, a, you know, starting out in, in the hair business. You know, their two locations are shut down. Uh, they're gone. That's, a, and, that's uh, unfortunate. Yeah, I can't help but think that, you know, I was probably started in, you know, 2019, 20 there, you know, when everybody was locked out, those guys were on, you know, <laughs> uh, unessential, you know. Um, yeah, I hate that term. I, yeah, you know, it's everybody's essential. The community. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's essential to feed your family. <laughs> it's essential to keep shelter on your family. So it's, yeah. I, I hated that term when I first heard it and I still hate it today, so. Yeah. Well, we were, yep. we were essential, but there were no cars on the street. So uh, yeah. when, cars, when cars don't drive, they don't break. So we were, that's true. <laughs> we were right in there. So it all slows for sure. Absolutely. Well, thank you, Brett. I really do appreciate you. Uh, and to all those that are listening, uh, have some patience. <laughs> that's the, that's the theme of today. You know, be a be a good human being. Know that we're all in this together. You know, maybe you're, you maybe have a business that's the anomaly, but know that service providers, people that provide products and services are really struggling with the supply chain. You know, even people that are, even with, you know, suppliers like ours, that is just mostly labor, we still have to have supplies here and there. And it's, it's tough to get like everyone else. So have some patience for the people that you're working with and around and knowing that it's not going to last forever. And they're trying to do their best. They're they're obviously not trying to lose anyone's business by in, during this time. But, you know, they're trying to keep everything they can uh, during this time. You know, we're all just trying to feed our families, and we're all just trying to do our best. So be patient. Uh, go give Brett a uh, a call when your vehicle breaks down. Brett, what's what's the best way to reach you if something happens to their vehicle over their mer uh, meridian? Yeah, we're just uh, phone call away. Eight 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 zero zero seven zero. And uh, or you can get us online at cbac.com forward slash Meridian, and uh, you can do you can get an appointment online. Or but we 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 love to talk to people, so just give us a call. We search real good on Google too. So beautiful. Well, thanks again, Brett. Um, and uh, until next time, you guys all have a 
Go ahead. Yeah, thanks, Spencer. Thanks for having me on. Just no always, problem. always a joy, and I do enjoy listening to the podcast. Um, you know, and it's it's just the right size too to you know you can get it all in there. So that's right. You Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. And all you guys out there, you know, stay happy, be happy. Use 2022. Let it be your year. I don't care if, if COVID's out there, what you know, whatever kind of monsters it's lurking. Happiness is is based upon you, and you make that decision. So make that decision to be happy and enjoy your year. So until next time, adios, everyone. Thanks again, Brett. Congratulations on spending a couple of minutes getting a little bit smarter, having some fun, and supporting the Idaho business community. If you're feeling the love, make sure to subscribe, rate, and review on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever you are.